You're gonna make the perfect clicker game part three. Enjoy. Okay, so if you just look at this, this looks like trash. So we're gonna fix that. Okay, so this will make sense later, but this is what it's gonna look like for right now. So now I'm going to, I'm gonna reposition the positioning from this right here. As you can see, I only have three up here, but I'm gonna change this to six. So it's gonna make six clones. And that means I need to right click duplicate and change this to four, five, and six. I'm just gonna get rid of the six for now and just change this back to five. So now as you can see, they're all in a row, but they needed a bit more spacing, but now they're all spaced out a lot. And I guess I'll just keep it for now. I'm going to make a bit of a backdrop. I'm going to put it over here. Let's make a background and put this one to six. So now we can have six IDs. A six, one, six, and then BG. And that's all the way up there. So we don't want that. We'll put it to zero. It looks like I have to make him a lot bigger. Yeah, something like this could do. Now this one's going to go to back. So as you can see, we have a bit of a backdrop and all the cookies here. But we don't want it to start off like that. So I'm going to get rid of the show on all of these. But except for the backdrop. To fix a little bit of a bug, I'm going to set it to 1000 and set it to 100. So now, it's going to let me put it back more. That's a bit of a scratch hack if you want to know that one. So I'm going to set it to 250. And now when I start as a clone, get rid of all this. When I start as a clone, if GYID equals 6 then, wait until touching mouse pointer then. I'm going to make for this right only, BGX speed. And I'm going to right click duplicate, get rid of this, and put a forever. If ID equals 6 then, change X by BGX speed. I'm going to set BGX speed to negative 5. Or I'll do 10. Or we set BGX speed to times BGX speed 0.9. So now, so as we can see, we have a smooth up transition. But I have to make it go a bit further, and I'm gonna make the cookie move to the left. I'm gonna set it to negative 20. I'm also going to put a forever, then wait until not touching mouse pointer. I'm gonna set it to positive 20. So now, as we can see, it goes up and it goes down, up and down, up and down. Oh, hold on, I need to fix something. I'm going to do wait 0.5. I'm gonna put that here and then here. I'm going to do wait two seconds and then wait two seconds so now as you can see it doesn't let us hit back and plus i have to do like negative 15 and 15 so now it should work perfectly there we go perfect and now we need to make the guis appear and just for now i'm gonna have broadcast show gui i'm also gonna broadcast down here hide gui and so now get the if guid equal one when i receive show gui if guid equal one then show set ghost effect to 100 and then repeat 10 times change ghost at negative 10 and then right click duplicate hide gui when you set ghost to zero change ghost by positive 10 and then hide so now as we can see it pops in you might want to give it a second so let's just see what it looks like with the second. I'm also going to change the 5 and then, sorry, 20. But one other thing you're going to want to do, right click duplicate. If GID equals 1, then it's going to do all this. So, as we can see, he starts at X100. I'm going to make him, I'm going to make him start at 200. And then I'm going to do set EGX speed to negative 15. But I'm going to make it start at 250, 14. And so now when I go here, I'm going to right click duplicate. I'm going to set this to positive 14 right here. So now, as we can see, we have a nice transition. But now we have to do something about the cookie. I'm going to do make a variable for this sprite only. I speed cookie. Wing green five click forever. Change home so stupid. Change this to x speed cookie. Change x by x speed cookie. Then forever set x speed cookie to right click duplicate x speed cookie 0.9. And then when I receive GUI show set x speed cookie negative 15. So now look at that. And also I think it's a bit too fast. So like negative 10. Eh, I'll do maybe negative 11. There we go. Perfect. And now when I receive hide, I'm going to do positive 11. So now if we go back into here, we can see this. You can see the smooth transition but as you can see when i do that we have a problem if i click on the cookies they're off center instead of that i'm going to do I'm gonna go in this one i'm going to do sensing grab this go cookie grab the x position i'm gonna drag that in here to the cookie now i have this because you can't get it normally in here it's not going to show it so i'm going to do put this in the here and now as you can see it goes oh, let me remove all this crap so now as you can see it goes to the X position. I also need to forever make the clones go to back because it's overlapping everything. Now, there we go. A lot better. I'm also going to extend this a bit. Okay, perfect. But also, as you can see here, we have a problem. It takes a second for it all to load up. So to fix that, I'm going to make a block. Make it clone begin. Run with a screen refresh. That's important. And now define this. And when I start, do that and put all this in here. So now it's just going to start there immediately. But it seems like it's wanting to move. So what's that problem? Um, to fix that, I'm just going to, I'm going to just do this just to make it easier for myself when GYD equals six then I'm going to set ghost to 100 change ghost by negative 10 actually just might wait a second like 0.25 has to be in here so I'll do this right in between there 
Now it should all work perfectly fine. I'm really not liking how this looks right now, so I'm gonna do this and see if that looks any better. I'm just gonna keep this for now. Okay, so now I'm gonna have to make more of these. So I'm just gonna have to do this. There may be, there's probably a differently an easier way to do this, but to be honest, this is just what I'm gonna do. Right click duplicate, two, right click duplicate, two, right click duplicate, three, three, four, four, five, five, and then, and just to actually make this easier, I'm gonna do four, two, or three, or four, or five, or five. And I probably could have done it up here, but I'm a bit lazy, and I'd rather, like, be able to, like, control each of them by, by myself, so I have to make it go back by 250. 250, 250, 250, and 250. So now, as you can see, all the cookies are here. They all disappear. But here's the thing, though. I want it to so you can have cookies, like, going every second rather than just clicking. So, let's add that. And just so this doesn't look that boring, I'm gonna do a bit of a gradient. And so, there we go. And you can kind of decorate this any, any kind you want. But, yeah. So, now I'm gonna do right-click duplicate, 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 make five because I have five up here. And just so I can get a bit of a variation, I'm gonna make this one lighter, this one lighter, this one even lighter, and this one completely white. The slightest not. And so, now I can change the costumes down here to one, two, three, four, and five so now we have the variations as you can see up here but something i didn't have on the other game is when you so when you buy a cookie it usually increases the price but it's gonna take a long time to make an actual text generator so i don't think i'll be doing it this episode but i'm gonna convert the things into the seconds up here but just so i can keep this going i'm gonna right click duplicate change this to four and i'm gonna make the cookies around a thousand just because 999 and change cookies by what's well, gonna cost a thousand you're gonna get 50 back and i'm going to do just five one two three four one two three four five or sorry four i'll just do 100 for fun these numbers are completely not good but i'm just having them just because and i'm going to also just do when i start forever wait one second and then change cookies by cookie change so now every second it's just gonna go up by the cookies and i'm also gonna click it's also gonna do that but then if i want to get one of these you can see it's gonna go up by six every second and same with i click it's gonna go by six and if i want to buy these i can continue to do so until i run out of money it's just gonna take a long time to make a text engine and i really don't want to do that right now so this is the best we're gonna get going to go up here change it into this and i can just put it there for more organization so that's how you make the cooker game part three next time i'll be making the text engine for like down here and everything and over at the side which is gonna be really painful to make because it's gonna take such a long time but i hope you enjoyed subscribe and like for more see ya